guys, Travelling Blade here and today you will join me in a drizzly Edinburgh before I get my train to Sheffield for what will be my first home vlog of the season for United versus Norwich at Bramall Lane. Now today we are one game ahead of Norwich, we, this is our fourth game, this is their third. Uh, Norwich sit I think about 18th after their two games with one point. As we sit I think around 12 after three after getting our first win at Loftus Road last week. Uh, during midweek we lost to Hull 5-4 on penalties in the League Cup first round where there was the debutant Oli Norwood who actually lost it for us on the penalty but from what I've, from what I've heard uh, he had a fantastic debut. He just joined us on loan with a view to buy in January from Brighton. Um, like I said I think he played at Fulham last season on loan so I'm hoping to see Oli Norwood today. However this week apparently there's been a uh, sickness bug hit the squad yeah, there's been a sickness bug gone through the squad and it said that Wilder's monitoring several players but the only one it named on, that I've seen named, is Mark Duffy so I doubt we're really going to see him and also apparently David McGoldrick looks unlikely after a dead leg not that that's really an injury but he did come off injured at Loftus Road but yeah, today United, you know, we're looking to push on with the season hopefully, you know, push on from our first win at Loftus Road uh, last season they beat us at Bramall Lane 1-0 after famously arriving late and then they went 1-0 up and then time wasted. So we went to their place, we had a one goal lead and we time wasted. So the Norwich fans weren't exactly impressed with us or Wilder going out tapping his watch. I think it'll be a difficult game. I think this is conceding one. Hopefully, you know, I can see it realistically like a 1-0, maybe even losing 1-0, quite pessimistic to be honest. I think maybe if we hadn't got Duffy, we might have as much of an attacking edge. I can imagine Clark and Sharp starting maybe. Maybe he'll play Woodburn instead of Duffy. But hopefully, I'd like to see Noah today. Just need to crack on and get our season properly started now. So the lineups are out, a few changes. You've got Henderson net again. I think you've got a back line of Egan, Basham and O'Connell. Wing backs of, I think it's Freeman and Stevens. I know it's definitely Stevens, I think Freeman's on. Uh, midfield of what I believe is Fleck, Norwood and Woodburn, and then Clark and Sharp. I'm looking forward to seeing the midfield in action. What would Duffy being ill, I thought Woodburn might come in. Um, but obviously it's the first time I've seen Norwood and obviously Fleck's probably my favorite player. So looking forward to seeing how the midfield works out. And also it's nice to see him sharp back as captain because I don't think Clark's much of a captain really. He can't really multitask as like a target man, holding striker and captain. So it's, you know, I think Sharp's the, the best leader out there. Woodburn's looking good up front for us. Oh. Now it's just starting early this year with the time wasting tactics. Seven, seven minutes in and the keeper's like taking way too long for his kick. So it started early this year. Nine 
is saying a bit of goal line technology came into on the John Egan's looping in, it looked to be cleared off the line. But the ref points has sent a circle. 1-0 United, come on! Playing some tasty football there, Ollie Noah and Fleck absolutely pinging some great passes up. Well in bar! Shit. United won, now it's Ron. Fucking could have called it. Jordan Rhodes scored and he's a celebrate in front of the cop. Fucking pig. And then Norwich fans have decided to wake up just chanting yellow. I've been the much better side so far. Defence have been tight and then Basham's just got the better of Bash. Sent it in. On a plate for Rhodes, he's put his fucking trotter on the end of it. And he's just celebrating like a dickhead. Fucking tin pot crunk. So close now to going back in front. Got some good shots. Great save by the Norwich keeper there. They've been sent it into Leon. Should have scored really. Just... Started off really well, seemed to be in control of the game. Playing some, um, some great passes. Egan and O'Connell winning everything here. Yeah. Some great tackles from lots of Woodburn and Bash. Seemed to be in control, created some good chances. Uh, Score, it was a close goal, you know, a bit of goal on technology came in. But then, um, I don't know who it was, but you know, they just did Bash a bit, you know. They had Bash in their pocket, sent it in, Rhodes just puts it in from about three yards out. And then celebrates in front of the cop, which went down like a fucking lead balloon. But it's a shame. I mean, after that, the next five, ten minutes, like Garaz again, we had some great chances. I don't know how we didn't, uh, but we haven't made the most of our chances. We've wasted them really. And Norwich looked like, you know, you don't look too dangerous on the break, but we do look like, you know, with United, you think we could slip at any minute. So, despite the, that's despite the defence being good for most of the first half, really, just when we conceded. It's a shame they could have scored, it could have been quite a good half, but you know, it's, we've just got to see what we can do in the second half and you know, crack on to try and get the three points. At half time, United you know, have brought Ben Woodburn off for Ryan Leonard. I thought Woodburn had played well, unless he's picked up a knock, but I don't know what Wilder's thought of the bell behind him. You feel Then they seem to be winning most things in the air now. Where's Leon again? Fucking ghost of a striker.
give a shit, I'll go on, have a free shot on there. But Dino, what a fucking man. Shoot, shoot. Norwich didn't score there. Fucking hell, that was close. Oh my god! Oh! Again! Yeah, again, we just missed another fucking easy chance. Come on! Time United 2, Norwich 1. What a, it was a very entertaining game. United had a lot of chances. Obviously before all the dramatic ending, I thought the first 25 minutes. We seemed to be very much in control, creating quite a lot of chances. Uh, we seemed to be quite defensively tight. Egan was heading everything. Um, people like Fleck and uh, Woodburn seemed to be throwing in some nice tackles and we looked really hungry for the game, had a great desire. Then 25th minute, Bash got done. They just sent it in and Rhodes finishes it, which is, you know, call him, you know, I can call him what I want, but he's a proven striker. Then we, you know, after that we had like a good five, ten minute spell where we looked real likely to score. And I think Clark should have really. Uh, we just seemed to waste a lot of our chances. We create a lot of good ones, but we wouldn't take them like, you know, we wouldn't get the ball on target or when we did, it wasn't hit with enough conviction to actually be, you know, actually to finish it. Second half, Norwich seemed a bit more confident. Um, than they did at the start of the first half. United did come onto them in spells. Norwich had, I think, what I can remember, two uh, really good chances where you're thinking, shit, they should score it. At least two, if not three. Um, we had another, you know, few more chances. Headers just going past the post from corners. But, yeah, Norwich could have um, easily have scored. Also, when Fleck went down, um, I believe it was, like, heavily offside um, for Norwich. Uh, but Dino, in Dean Henderson, in there, pulling out the save. Um, we were all convinced it was going to be 2-1 Norwich, but Henderson, he managed to, you know, it was, it was three on one, three on one. I think it was like massively offside, but Henderson, you know, managed to cancel out the poor, cancel out the poor officiating. I think maybe that, you know, spurred us on that moment. And then I think, I'm not sure who it was, but lovely ball over to McGoldrick. McGoldrick like flicks on, and then Billy Sharp does what Billy Sharp does best, scores winners for Sheffield United. Um, late goal, it's nice to be on the, Correct side of a late a late winner, for once, com compared to the end of last season, where we seemed to lose several games due to late late goals. Um, and then the scenes after that, sensational. The fact that like Dean Henderson ran the length of the pitch just to train in the um, celebrations with the lads. What a boy! I absolutely love that man. It was nice to be on the right side of a late winner for once. I think that moves up to eighth now. So we will drop in over to them when the rest of the league catches up on games because we've played one more. Than yeah, some, Ryan Leonard played well. Oh, I think for me, man of match was 
um, Fleck, I think, but loads of people played well. Freeman was great, Henderson great, Sharp was great. Sharp was great even before the winner. Clark, a bit like Clark, you know, good in parts, but not, not always. Um, yeah, things seem to be turning up. I'm just hoping we can keep it on and uh, push on, hopefully with some new signings. But anyway, I've been the Travelling Blade, and I'll see you for the next one.